Hey, what's happening everyone? This is Craig here from Sound Iron, and in today's tips and tricks, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up drum maps in Cubase. So I've been using Cubase since version 8.5, and now that we're on Cubase 12, it's, uh, it's been a few years. And one of the reasons I always keep coming back is because there's just so many aspects about it that I love, especially for my own types of uh, workflow and the way I like to do things and as far as just making music production so much easier. And one of the things I always like about using Cubase especially is the drum editor and using drum maps. So when you think of the concept of a map, it helps you get from point A to point B as quickly as possible. And I like to approach music production in the same way, whether it's organizing my template, color coding tracks, or with programming drums using stuff like drum maps because it lays everything out for you. It's so easy to see and it just makes your life so much easier. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up a drum map in Cubase, and I'm gonna be using our new Knockout Drums library that we just released in collaboration with drummer Naveen Copperwise and mixing engineer Zach Oren. And it's a killer sounding drum library, so I'm gonna be showing you how you can use the remapper to help you sort of lay out your structure for your drum map, so let's get started. All right, so now we're in Cubase and I got Knockout Drums loaded up, so you see we got the kit view loaded up, I got the Extreme Maple Metal preset loaded, this library comes with 12 different mix ready presets and this is one of my favorite ones it just sounds awesome especially for metal and stuff like that so i'm going to be using the demo that we used for the trailer uh, this was written by naveen copperwise it's a just killer heavy kind of death metal heavy sort of like slamming death metal track and i'm going to be basically using this preset and building a drum map off of it so one of the first things that you're going to want to do is set this to omni and the reason I do that is because when you're using the drum maps, you might not be able to hear anything. So this helps just make sure that you're hearing everything that's coming out of the library into your drum map. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is head over to the remapper. This is gonna show you where all of your drums and articulations are. And this is gonna make it a little bit easier for you as far as being able to create your map off of this. And for this drum map that I'm gonna be creating, I'm gonna be using the Sound Iron default map. And I'll be including this in the description below. So the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is head over here to the inspector on the left. You'll see this little drum map area right here. If you click on this, you'll see, you know, you can load a general MIDI or you can do drum map setup. So drum map setup is what we are gonna do. So you can see right here, it gives you all the list of the different mappings. This is using the general MIDI mapping, but we're gonna be starting from scratch and doing it all ourselves. So then you go up here to function and then let's go to new map. And then I'm gonna rename this to KO drums map. And the reason I do this is because as you can see, this map starts at C0 and with general MIDI, it does not. So being able to have all the different MIDI keys available and then just being able to start from there. So the next thing that we're gonna do is just start labeling all the different MIDI notes so we know where our kick is, our snares, toms, etc. So C0, you'll see it's our kick 20 felt. So we can put kick felt, and then the next one is kick wood. And then for D0, we got our tom eight, center, and then our tom eight, edge. So we recorded the center and the edge of the tom. So being able to use both of those really helps with just getting that realism because drummers don't always hit exactly in the same spot in the very center of the drum. So having that edge and being able to throw those in is really nice. All right, so now that you get the basic idea of how I'm setting this up, I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up so you don't have to see me labeling every single drum. And then we'll go to the next step. So now that we have all that done, the next thing we're gonna do is save this preset. So let's go up to function and then we're going to save. And now I'm gonna save this as KO drums SI default map. And then the next thing to do is to go ahead and load this up. So let's go ahead and find our KO drums map. We got that loaded. I'm gonna close this. And now you'll see this change. So whether you're programming drums or editing drum MIDI, it just makes it so much easier to be able to see where everything is. And then you can just like click over here and you can just Just preview all the different drums. And then let's just go ahead and play this so you can see how it looks and sounds. So 
So there you have it, creating a custom drum map in Cubase. And I can honestly tell you that from personal experience, this will make your life so much easier and it will make programming drums a lot more fun. And if you want to learn more about knockout drums, make sure to head over to soundiron.com. And thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, give it one of these. Subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on future videos like these, as well as walkthroughs and podcasts and many other types of content that we post on here. So thanks again and we'll catch you later.